Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hello. <laughs> First thing is first, we just want to say a massive, massive thank you yeah. to everyone that's watched our Disneyland Paris vlog series, everyone that's commented, everyone that's even just watched and liked, like we are so overwhelmed. So we've got lots more Disney content planned, including the video that we're going to film today, and we are planning some more trips. Definitely going to visit Disneyland Paris again soon, and then next year we are going to Orlando. Yeah, we'll definitely vlog all that and we'll definitely vlog our trip to Disneyland Paris and we'll just, uh, yeah, keep going with our channel. But we just wanted to say such a massive thank you and that we really, really, really appreciate it. Yeah. So today we're going to do our favourite things at Disneyland Paris. We're going to do our top three restaurants, our top three rides and our top three shows. Yes. Each. Yeah. Same been having different. a think. Yeah. I mean, we toyed with the idea of, of doing yeah, it together. Yeah, trying but then... to agree, but we didn't agree. No, so we're going to do So we're gonna we can do have to one. do separately. Yeah. <laughs> what should we start with? Um, I would go with restaurants first. Restaurants, top three restaurant food. Yeah. Let's start with food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we did the Disney dining plan full board standard. So you get your breakfast and then you have lunch and dinner and that can be at NA... NA... NA. <laughs> and that could be at any buffet style restaurant in Disneyland Park, in Disney Village, in certain hotels, and in Walt Disney Studios. So we didn't include any like waiter service restaurants? No, we didn't do any table service. Or any fast food sort fast of restaurants. Food. So our selection of restaurants are gonna be quite limited compared to the restaurants that are on offer at Disneyland Paris. Just the buffets. So out of the buffet style restaurants, so this should be called top three Buffet style restaurants. Okay, yeah. <laughs> At number three for me would be Billy Bob's. Billy Bob's. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bob's. That's Billy how Bob's. I used to say it. It's actually got a longer name, but yeah. everybody refers to it as Billy Bob's. Even when you ring up to book it, like before you go, they're like, oh, Billy Bob's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Billy Bob's is located in Disney Village and it's kind of like a Tex Mex style buffet. And it's great and it has line dancing as well. Like we walked yeah. in the first time and there were just all these people like line dancing and it's set out like a western saloon. And in the evenings I think they got like bands playing and all Yeah, sorts. live bands and bars and it's just got a really good feel, um, really fun feel to it. Yeah. And it's outside of the parks. So, I mean it was busy still, but it takes that slight park busyness out of it. Disney Village, even though it is busy, Slightly bit more relaxed. Yeah, slightly it's just nice, more. I think, to go and visit Disney Village. It's mm. only just outside of the parks. So yeah. You're there. So Billy Bob's is a number three for me. Definitely check that one out. Mm -hmm. Number two would be Plaza Gardens, which is smack bang in the middle of Disneyland Park. It's just at the end of Main Street. And it's kind of your traditional, very lavish, uh, big buffet style Disney-esque yeah. restaurant. It has a variety of foods. I think it's an international menu, so it has absolutely anything that you could ever want. So much selection of food. Try and... the seafood pesto oh, pasta. I didn't have that. Oh, that was lovely. Is it good? Yeah. Good. And their desserts are really good, and they're all really Disney-themed. So that would be my number two, Plaza Gardens. And then at number one is Davy Crockett's Tavern. Yeah. So this was the restaurant that was at David Crockett Ranch. So it was our hotel's restaurant. And it was so good, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So it had, it had the whole buffet. So it was an international menu. So again, covers all kinds of international food. You can definitely find something that anyone would enjoy. So it had that whole buffet style. And then outside they had a barbecue. Yeah, they say when it's sunny that they have a barbecue outside as well. Yeah, and... We're English and we love a barbecue. Yeah, I mean, if you look on one of the vlogs, I'll probably insert the clip over the top you of this. Two You'll see that I have two plates in front of me and I yeah. look back at it and I'm like, how did I have so much food? <laughs> it was too good. <laughs> and uh, again, it was just quite nice to eat outside of the parks. It was slightly more relaxed, less busy, and it has such a nice feel to it. And I really enjoyed eating there. We only ate there once, but if I go back and stay at uh, David Crockett Ranch or even if I don't stay at David Crockett Ranch again I think I would travel there just to eat there oh if we, I would definitely if we stay at David Crockett Ranch I'd like to eat there yeah yeah and, and another night at least yeah yeah 
So that is my number one buffet style restaurant that we visited this year. Definitely David Crockett's Tavern. David, mm. David Crockett. <laughs> now it's over to you. Over to me, right? Okay, so mine. These will probably be quite similar because again, we only we only ate. ate yeah. <laughs> five it might be in a slightly places. different order. Yeah. Right, number three, I would go for. I put Plaza Gardens as number three, and I just put it as number three. Just we uh, we had a few issues in terms of service there. Yeah, we did actually. Um. And so that just let it down a bit for me. I really liked the food, um, but that's the reason why. But yeah, it was still lovely food and uh, lovely setting as well. So it, it didn't affect it too much. I mean, it's still in my top three. Yeah. Number two, I would put... Oh, this is tricky. It's going to be it is going to be the same. It's going to be either Billy Bob's or, or Davy Crockett. I Yeah, I'd, I'd have to put Billy Bob's as number two. Mm-hmm. Really loved Billy Bob's, and then I would put number one is Davy Crockett Tavern. We agree, we agree on that one. Yeah, really enjoyed that one. Davy agreed Crockett. Agreed on that one. Yeah, Yay. got the thumbs up. <laughs> Next, we're going to do our top three shows at Disneyland Paris. So, this is going to include the stage shows, but also the. The ones that are just like outside, maybe like parades. Yeah, and... the outside shows, parades, and. Any kind of entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Top three shows entertainment. So at number three for me would be... This is a tough one. It is tough because there's such good entertainment. I would say one thing that Disneyland Paris nails is their entertainment. Mm. I was really impressed. Really, really good entertainment. I'm a bit good we didn't get to see some of them again multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've decided. <laughs> so at number three for me would be Mickey's 25th anniversary show. This is only on for a limited amount of time, I believe, because I think it's just while they celebrate the 25th anniversary. But if you were going during that time that it's on, definitely see it. It is so much fun. It's outside um, on the stage that they have just outside of Sleeping Beauty's castle. So the setting is beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So like it's just Disney, as Disney as you can get. And it has all the best characters in. It's got all the original characters. It's got Mickey, Goofy, um Goofy's like one of the headlines. One of the mains, isn't, isn't he? I mean he is, we he's love just him. a legend, is Goofy. It's it's got Goofy's son Max. <laughs> Um, it's got Winnie the Pooh, it's got all the Toy Story gang, it has like, and so much more Fantasyland. And what they do is they go through each land in Disneyland and uh, the songs are great, so many good characters. It's led by like these four dancing men who are great fun and they have very funny hats. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. I like their hats. They change their hats quite a bit. If you watch our vlogs, we managed to film quite a lot of the show. Mm-hmm. So definitely check it out. And it's just so much fun. Um, yeah. And I loved it. I think we watched it twice. And both times I was just like, this is so good. I don't want it to end. There's a, there's a lot of love for this show. And then at number two for me would be Mickey and the Magician. So this is a traditional show. So you um, sit in an auditorium and then they have a stage. And it's incredible. I think it's won an award for like top entertainment in the whole world out of theme parks Has or it? something. Yeah, I think it, it's it's really, really high up there. They do a lot of really cool stage, uh, well, I was going to say techniques, but it's like... Uh, Magic. Illusions, yeah. Yeah, like magic and illusions. And it's the story of Mickey and he travels through all the different stories. So he travels to like Lion King and he travels into um, Aladdin. And uh, so it has such a good mixture of characters. Again, great dancing, great singing, everything about it. It's a real like spectacle. If you want a uh, West End style show, that is definitely the one to go to go see. I yeah. really, really enjoyed it. Half of it's in French, half of it's in English. So yeah. depending what language you speak, it uh, caters for both. It's always funny and like makes me smile when you see Mickey just dancing. Yeah, and he really dances. He really he goes really for goes it. For he, it. Does. he definitely joins in. Mm. So at number one for me is Forest of Enchantment. So this show is on at the 
Chaparral Theatre. Chaparral Theatre. Chaparral Theatre. And we didn't, we nearly missed it. We nearly missed it. Yeah, we nearly did. It's hidden away. So definitely if you've never been before, just check on a map because it's a bit off the beaten track. It's as you go past Thunder Mountain in Frontierland and you just keep travelling round. And the theatre's there. And it's kind of like an, it's still an auditorium style with a stage, but it's like an outside theatre. It's very magical, um, set in a forest and it includes all the kind of like forest and nature style Disney characters. Yeah. So you've got like Tarzan, Pocahontas, Tangled, Brave. Yeah. Uh, the singing is great. Like the performers and their singing is so good. I love all the woodland ca- uh, creatures that they have in the show. It was so good. I'm not sure how long it's on for, but if you go to Disneyland Paris and it's there, definitely, definitely check it out. Um, it's probably the show that I enjoyed the most. Yeah, we I saw that one twice. The Tarzan bit. Incredible. All right, my it's turn. Yours. Oh, blimey. Number three, I'm going to... I'm going to just shake things up a little bit because there are ones that I want to sort of include. Mm. But you've mentioned them, so we have included them. The parade was really good. I, was, I really loved the parade. So I'll put that in as number three. Yeah. I really loved the parade just because they had, they had quite a bit of Toy Story in there. And I really liked all the characters that were in it. We had a nice spot uh, sort of near the end of the parade, but there weren't that many people around us. So we were able to get some good footage. I really liked that bit where all the princes and the princesses are like yeah, coming past dancing. Bit. Oh, and Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins. You love When them. they're doing that little waddle <laughs> thing. Yeah, I just had a smile on my face. Number two. Yeah, I'll go for Mickey and the Magician. Mm-hmm. as number two I really liked it I loved the bit with the genie this is a bit where they do Aladdin and, and we included that in the vlog and yeah every time I see Mickey I'm just like yeah. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> and then number one I feel bad because I'm leaving out Forest of Enchantment but you've mentioned it so yeah, I, re- I really okay. did like that show it was my number one so you yeah. got a lot of love <laughs> Number one, I have to say, is the 25th anniversary show. <laughs> I couldn't get enough of that. Every time it was like it's on, because so it's happy. on at multiple yeah. times during the day, and every time it was on, like and we were walking past, I just felt compelled to at least stand and watch, watch for a bit. you know a minute or so, and then go off. And yeah, seeing Woody, Jesse, Buzz, Goofy, just them all. Uh, Winnie the Pooh was in there, and then Duffy. Duffy. I had no idea. I'm sorry. I had no idea who Duffy was. So we had to Google it. But now we're fully aware that Duffy is Mickey Mouse's uh, bear. bear. Yeah, that would be my number one. 20 to that. And I can't stop singing the songs. Yeah, they're very <laughs> catchy. <laughs> Disneyland Fairy. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to do our top three favourite rides. <sighs> This is tough. There are so many good rides at Disneyland Paris. At number three, Space Mountain. I love Space Mountain. Um, I love the one in Orlando. And then I couldn't really remember the one in Paris till we went this year. And obviously a lot of changes has happened to it. So now it's all Star Wars themed and it's called Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. Yeah, because it changed into Hyperspace Mountain. Yeah. And then it changed into Star, Star Wars, Wars Hyperspace, Hyperspace Mountain. Mountain. Um, so it's a bit more extreme than the one in Orlando. You obviously have... Oh, and you get my tears <laughs> off. You obviously have the bars that come up over you because it does do loops. And it's so much fun. I love the new Star Wars element. I love that they play the theme tune as you're going round. You just feel really like... It's really like cool, <laughs> and uh, it's just a really fun ride, and it's really smooth as well. It's just a really fun, enjoyable, smooth roller coaster, really fast as well, and uh, yeah, great fun. So my number two is Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror is so much fun. <laughs> you went on it, didn't you? Didn't think you would because you've got a bit of a fear of dropping rides. Oof. But even Martin can admit Tower of Terror. So, so much I, fun. I, I thought I wasn't going to do it again. Yeah. Because the day before I went on it, we stood in line as it was about to close 
we waited in line for about 20 minutes or something got all the way at the front got to the lift bit where you go through to the next area and then I was like I can't do it I'd like gone white and... yeah I was like I don't feel like comfortable <laughs> with you going on I, I feel like you might faint <laughs> yeah so I, I wimped out with that but then the next day I conquered it you conquered your fear and you were very happy that you did yes such a good such a must obviously it is quite scary but it's definitely worth it and then number one would have to be big thunder mountain <laughs> we rode this ride probably the most didn't we mm, yeah this we rode is, it quite a lot this is starters i think we did oh starters yeah big thunder mountain is just such a good ride um it's in Frontierland, and it's kind of like a runaway train it looks beautiful even if you're not on it just watching it and then they've done a lot to it i think over the past couple of years a lot of improvement it's really long yeah they... you feel like you you get a good ride like it goes on for yeah every a good time you think time. it's about finish it it just keeps going a bit further and mm. yeah they've added Special graphics effects, and effects graphics, to it. Um, You're in the goes, dark a lot more as well on this one. Yeah, you go into caves and into the dark. Uh, it's just so much fun. And then we managed to ride it as the fireworks go off, which is definitely a must. Definitely try and ride it one time when the fireworks are going off because it's just so much fun. Mm -hmm. So Big Thunder Mountain, my number one. I love it. Over to you. Okay, I was surprised you didn't mention Rock and Roller Coaster. I, I know, I do. I, there's so many. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Regret my decision now. Okay, <laughs> number three. Oh, I'm gonna say Star Tours. Yeah. We love Star Tours. Love Star Tours. And yeah, like what is it? How many seven, seventy 17. variations they've got now? And each time we went on it, it, it was, was different. Different. And I just think it's just oh, it's just such a good ride. Yeah. It's insane. I really just like seeing what you're going to get next time. So I'd say Star Tours. And it was the first ride that we went on when we got to it Disneyland was, yeah, Paris. It was. And then number two. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain. Oh. Can I say Big Thunder Mountain is number two? Phenomenal ride. Again, like you're saying, just felt really long. Felt like it was a, it was worth it, like queuing up for it. Yeah, if you yeah, did yeah. queue up for it. It was worth it because it, it felt like you were on it for quite a while. And then I would go, number one, Tower of Terror. No way. Yeah. It's your favourite ride at Disney Paris. Yeah, I'm a bit gutted we didn't get on it again. After all that worrying. I know. Uh, yeah, I am a bit gutted that we didn't do it again. Uh, yeah, just because I had such a fear of it. And then when I got on it, I mean, you look at the photograph that we filmed and like my, my face is like this. I was loving it. Yeah. I really screamed when we were on it because you said to me, oh, it just raises you a little bit out of your chair. Yeah, you I was like fully out of my chair with the seatbelt just holding me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's such a great feeling. They got the handle, so I made sure I had that <laughs> held Gripping quite tightly. It. But yeah, really, really oh, loved Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror is your top. That's yeah. amazing. Yay, so that's our top three restaurants, rides and entertainment. So we're planning on doing a tips and tricks for Disneyland Paris video. So we'll share them with you. We're also going to do a haul of all the stuff that we brought at Disneyland Paris. And we might include some of our Disney World uh, merchandise that we brought last year as well. So a big thank you for watching. We really appreciate all your support. Uh, please like and subscribe. We'll put your More comments. Good. Oh what yeah, your definitely. Top three of each of what yeah, we discussed. Yeah, what we mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really We'd love fun. To know. Yeah, really fun to read. I love reading the comments. So we will see you very soon uh, for a new video next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, good wave. <laughs>